Well, hello. First of all, let me uh, say it's a great pleasure to have you here in Slovakia. And what do you think about the, the country and uh, uh, this event, Istrokom? Well, I've been enjoying myself here. I think uh, Braslava is a very nice city. I've, I've been able to go through some of the uh, old town. And uh, Istrokan, the people have been very, very wonderful, very uh, accepting, and I'm grateful to be a guest of it. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, how have you become the writer for bro books in Blizzard universes? Well, I've uh, written some uh, three dozen novels now, and uh, I started off with a series called Dragonlance, of which I still work with. And uh, because of the popularity of some of my novels in there, uh, several of the people at Blizzard do my work well, and when it came time to do the first novels, they uh, turned to me, first of all, which I was very, very grateful for. And uh, they asked me to try to do what I do with the, the Dragon's novels, give that epic feel to the first stories that would be presented to uh, the fans of the game. So, so in order to help expand the whole universe of Warcraft and Diablo. How is it to write a novel for a Blizzard game? Um, could you briefly describe the process? Uh, it's an enjoyable process, actually. I uh, deal directly with Chris Metzen, uh, creative, VP of Creative Development at Blizzard. Uh, we discuss the plot line with, with, with him and uh, some other people there. And then uh, once, the, once the plot line has been developed, uh, I start writing chapters. And each chapter goes through uh, Blizzard, goes through Chris Metzen and, and a couple other people. And they ask for changes if necessary. And then I go on and I go on until the, pro until the whole ch novel is done. And uh, sometimes we're surprised at what shows up in the middle of the novel, and we say, oh, this is a good idea. And uh, those things will often turn up into the games later on. Mm -hmm. So um, it's some, uh, some kind of a beta process, like they do with their games? In, in, a, in a sense, yes. Um, it's a constantly uh, changing uh, um, uh, system with the, with the storyline. Um, we will we'll come through at some point and say, wait a minute, this would be better if we do this. Uh, let's go back and correct this, and, or, hey, why don't we do this? And so mm -hmm. things will turn a little different direction. Uh, but they always try to stay true to what they're trying to do with World of Warcraft. Even, if, even though it is sometimes meant uh, by necessity changing some things from the oldest games. Uh, in other interviews you said that uh, you don't play your characters too much because it takes away your writing time. Uh, what is the highest level WoW character you have? I cannot say. Uh, I will not say, let's put it that way. <laughs> It would make it harder to play. Okay. Uh, what about Diablo 2? Again, uh, I do play that when I can, um, but uh, but they have to be working on so many uh, pro projects for the whole Blizzard series, um, and at the same time, I'm also doing some projects for other people. So Diablo, uh, Diablo, although I, I, I love the world, has uh, been a little bit uh, less time for me. I have a little bit less time for that one right now, mm -hmm. uh, which is a real shame. I want to go back to that one. Medieval Dragon from the fan site BlizzPlanet.com uh, gathered some questions from the community. Okay. Uh, would you like to answer some of those? I'd be happy to try. Okay, um, so the first question. Will there be new novels with Ronin and Crassus beyond Night of the Dragon? Um, I certainly think so. Uh, I know people, uh, I've used uh, both of them quite a lot, especially Crassus, obviously. Um, there will be some. There will come some storylines where we will not be seeing either of them. However, obviously, uh, with Ronan having taken a larger role, you will have to hear something about him. And um, I'm sure they'll be back, but they won't necessarily be in everything I write. Have you considered to write uh, new Warcraft novels and fresh stories with new and old characters without dragons or Ronin? Um, dragons, perhaps, although the, the Blizzard seems to like the way I handle the dragons. Um, so if there's a plot line involving the dragons, they usually will come to me first. Um, they really want me to help develop the dragons, the various dragon flights. There's so many of them now. Um, and I, I appreciate that. Uh, as for Ronan, like I said, he, uh, he's not necessarily going to appear in everything I've written. But if there's a plot line involving the, the Wizards of Dalaran, uh, obviously I will have to include something with him. Okay. Uh... Next question, when are we going to hear more about the Night of the Dragon and its release? Uh, a little bit more down the road. I am currently working on it. I, I can say that uh, there will be some new types of characters I have not used before. Um, I will say that I'm hoping to use a, a, a Draenei in there, for instance. Uh, and of course, uh, there will be some fun things going on with Grim, with Grim Batal, which is this location in, in Day of the Dragon. Okay, uh, Blizzard announced at BlizzCon that Malagos uh, will start killing off mages in Wrath of the Lich King expansion. 
will the new Burning Crusade manga deal with how the War of Magic starts? Uh, in a sense, it will touch on it in part because of what's happening and that will happen in the manga. Uh, we're still a bit fluid with the, with the whole plot line, but it will touch on the basics of how that will come about a little bit. Um, we are trying to do a little bit more with uh, certain other elements, but we, I, we certainly will mention something about it. Thank you. Uh, what role will Malaygos be playing in both new novels, seeing as he's apparently a killable raid boss in the next WoW expansion? Well, um, there is no doubt that I will make mention of him in Night of the Dragon. Um, we, we, I, am coming, we, I am coming in at the beginning of that whole situation with this story, but you will hear, you will definitely hear something about what's going on with him and uh, some of the reactions of other characters to that. Uh, but this will be fa fairly early in that situation. Okay. Um, how did Ronin get appointed as a leader of Kirin Tor and Dalaran in the World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King? Will your upcoming novels tell the backstory of his progress through ranks? Uh, in War of the Ancients trilogy, he was still an ambassador. Um, that is a situation that I'm still discussing with Blizzard for the to, to work over the exact details. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to be doing anything with it right now, but I'm sure I, I know we will probably cover that at some point um, because it would be nice to know how it happened. I, I think in part because he managed to survive well as compared to some others, and he, he's, he's tried to be an uh, innovative sort of wizard as opposed to some of the more staid ones. So perhaps that's why he became it, just as a general answer. Um, we will, we will in, in look into that more and, and at some point, I can pretty much be certain. Uh, again, it, it depends on which, how Blizzard wants to present it. Okay, uh, will the storyline in the new Burning Crusade manga involving Tyree and Jordan Mace be related to the MMO questlines? In the MMO, Tyree becomes a mentor of some of the Netherwing Dragonflight. Then in Breath of the Lich King expansion, it is said that Tyree brought them to Maligus. We will touch upon some of that. I cannot say anything more on that. Unfortunately, there are many things that I cannot say because of my contracts. Excuse me, my contracts with Blizzard. Uh, they, we was, I must say things at certain times, and other things I cannot say. So.